a check, how many website visitors, and it's five. Zero sales. Not good. I mean, maybe you get some words of encouragement from like your grandma or girlfriend, but you know, deep down they also think that, oh, I hope he gets a job soon and they just pity you. What you should focus on. Hello. Entrepreneurship is the best. If you're like me, there's really nothing quite like it. The freedom and satisfaction you can get is beyond comparison. I hope this video will give you some useful tips on how entrepreneurship feels and how to get started with less friction. My name is Karla Nieminen. I have been an entrepreneur for over 12 years. I have sold different kind of live training offerings to different organizations and individuals. I have sometimes been a part-time entrepreneur, sometimes a full-time entrepreneur. I have also given courses and lectures on the topic and I was quite active in the Helsinki Young Entrepreneurs Association board a couple of years ago. Let's get started. First, the freedom. It's amazing that you can be the master of your own schedule. I mean, you're an adult. You're supposed to be able to decide what you do and when. Of course, there are the practicalities, how to make it happen as an entrepreneur to have the schedule you want, but it's definitely worth it. And you can also decide your partners. Some wise man once said that you don't need to work with assholes as an entrepreneur and I kind of agree. Like it's nice you can say no to clients, partner, employees when needed. And there's also a lot of freedom related to the impact. You can decide what is your goal and you can decide the product details, which industry you go into. And if there happens to be monetary success, guess what? That one million profit is actually yours. You don't get only 5,000 a month for a monthly salary or whatever. Also, the product and pricing. It's quite surprising when you start that you really have such free reins to design your offering, how you bring value to the client, how you price it. It's quite nice that you have the power to do it. Then there is, of course, the other side of the coin, the responsibility of entrepreneurship. Personally, for me, it's quite enjoyable. I'm by nature quite responsible. I'm first born child. I am used to taking care of my two little sisters. When I was like 10, I was taking care of ponies at the stables and, and uh, I had my own stores uh, very young and things like that. So for me, it's quite natural. But to some extent, you definitely need to like also the responsibility as an entrepreneur. Because you are always the last point of escalation. You basically suddenly become expert in all things under the earth. For example, my friend got a call from her employee that there was an aquarium that broke on Friday night in a store and my friend had to take care of that. Or if your employee's parent's cat needs feeding in, uh, during Christmas time, you either need to find a new uh, Christmas time last minute employee or you need to feed your employee's parent's cat or find someone to take care of that. Like there's so many random problems that come to you all the time. It's quite second nature to an entrepreneur that you don't have always time to do a lot of research and still you need to act. One example, you need to make all kinds of contracts, maybe rent spaces. The learning is endless. And related to the responsibility point, you also need to take care of yourself. And if you're a person to who the responsibility part of others comes naturally, Maybe you need to work more on setting your own boundaries and having your own life outside entrepreneurship and, and your company and, and uh, taking care of yourself and your health. That's super important too and definitely can be a challenge. Your company should have a business logic. Tracking metrics is super important. You need to have a business logic this might sound kind of obvious that, yeah, you need to have a business logic as an entrepreneur, but I have met a lot of fresh startup entrepreneurs or new entrepreneurs who kind of don't have a goal on what they are going to sell and to who and how to make profit. Have some kind of pre preliminary plan and you can change it later if needed, but you need to have a business logic and track your sales, equity and profit in Sheets or Excel just to know where you are. And it depends a little bit on your business type, what it makes sense to track, depending on if you have a limited company partnership or sole trader. But anyway, track it. With prior number one in my list, 
I don't actually mean that monetary metrics need to be your prior number one. What I mean is that track also what else is important to you. Maybe the website visitors, course attendees, videos made. I don't know what's your number one goal, but please track that also. There are also things that you should not be focusing on. And those include your logo and business name. I know it's so fun to plan those and many new entrepreneurs use huge amount of hours designing their logo and things like that. But really, it doesn't matter that much. What really matters is how you bring value to your customers and they will buy your product regardless of your logo and name if the product is what they actually need. Another thing that I really advise you not to spend too much time on are accounting and taxation details. You need to learn how to outsource and how to use your own time to those activities that bring the most business value. Of course, it's good to know the basics of accounting and taxation, but let your accountant handle the most of it. What you should focus on, definitely on serving the client. How are you as valuable as possible to your customers? And how do you find these customers? It's super common that new entrepreneur makes a nice new website, maybe with a nice new logo, and then they wait. And perhaps they have installed Google Analytics, they check how many website visitors, and it's five. Zero sales. Not good. So customers don't find your product by accident. And also, it doesn't mean your product is bad if customers don't find it. You first need enough eyeballs on your product before you can even evaluate if it is good for your customers or not. And you need to put a lot of effort on marketing. Nowadays, it's often digital marketing and also reserve some funds to get those eyeballs on your company and product to actually get going and actually know what works. And one extra bonus plus in entrepreneurship is definitely cooperation. It's amazing how experienced entrepreneurs will help you. Just ask advice, be ready to cooperate, network, don't stress about it, but just do it to some extent. The mindset of entrepreneurship is very much acting, helping, cooperating, and I truly enjoy that. It's, it's uh, like no other atmosphere. Last but not least, no one will believe in you. And just accept this. That's how entrepreneurship is. You do what's best for your future. Don't expect others to push you. You are the leader of your life, of your company, and you decide what you want to do and go after it. Don't expect nice words from people close to you. I mean, maybe you get some words of encouragement from like your grandma or girlfriend, but you know, deep down they also think that, oh, I hope he gets a job soon and they just pity you. Don't care about that. Just go forward and why would anyone believe in you if you don't believe in yourself? Go ahead, start acting, make your working life your best life when you do things that are suitable for yourself. I hope my tips were useful for you. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Please like and subscribe. And you can also check the description box for additional resources. I'll see you in the next video and have a nice day. See you. I don't waste time, no, I make time All these people wanna hate fine, I'ma make mine While you sitting there complaining, I'll be training While you sitting there just waiting, I'm creating